In my previous video, I explained the complete TCS code with a registration process. But due to the website maintenance, we couldn't fill the CTDT reference ID. Well, this ID is crucial if you want to receive interview calls from TCS and without it, your application might get ignored. So in this video, I will guide you step by step on how to register on the TCS Next Step portal and get your CT or DT reference ID instantly. If you are serious about cracking TCS, don't miss this. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Nams World, where I share the latest updates on tech, jobs, free courses and many more. And if you are new here, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. So without further delay, let's get into the video. So as I said in my previous video, the CT, DT reference ID is important to get interview calls or anything related to TCS code beta. So let's see this in today's video. Click on TCS next step. Click on register now. Select IT information. Click on continue. Enter your email ID here. Click on request OTP. Then enter your OTP here. Then click on submit OTP. Verified. Then click on continue. Then here you give your other last four digit. Then your date of birth. So then first name and middle name. Scroll down. And you can get this. Then click on I agree to the next step privacy policy. Read this. So what they are telling overall is. They will be collecting your data. They will be using for this. Uh, for applying for any specific goals or anything. And if any data is missing, then you can't proceed with the selection process I'm mentioning. So, uh, fill all the required data. Now, further process. So, click on continue. Provide your mobile number, nearest TCS office, education details, institute name, qualification, year of passing, and then enter the CAPTCA. And then click on register. Here you will get your reference ID. Just copy that and keep it safe. It will be used in further. It will be used. So keep it safely. Copy this reference ID. Then click on click here to log in. Enter your email ID or reference ID. Then enter the catch gun. Click on request OTP. Enter the OTP manually as copy paste is not possible. It is showing error. Then you can fill your application form. Once you're sure that all three details is correct, then you click on submit application or start the application process. After filling this personal details until the last step to save and continue. Then fill this graduation academic uh, and work experience. Course duration and end date. Full time or part time grading system. After filling this, click on save and continue. Then click on 12th grade and fill this. Click on save and continue. Details. Fill your 10th grade details. You can find your 10th class roll number on your mark sheet. So go check it out and fill it here. After filling the details, click on save and continue. Then click on any other qualification. If you don't have, click on no. If you have, then click on yes. Then click on save and continue. Do you have any work experience details? Like internships or any other thing you did? If yes, then click on yes. Add your work experience here. Click on add work experience. Then fill this and click on it's showing bad request, so I'm just clicking on no and clicking on save and continue. No, so fill this as all no questions. Now, what they're telling is you need to at least get 60% in your first attempt. If you don't get, then you are not eligible once you go through it, and you should be of minimum 18 years. And you should not have any backlogs backlogs or anything or you should not be writing the exam in a second attempt then you are not eligible for this they, they are mentioning here just go through this click on i agree 
Here you need to write like a in sentence and you you should not like s yes, no you should not write like that then it won't accept so after filling all this click on save and continue then fill these nationality languages known language certification click on save and continue give your achievement certification details and then click on save and continue next here is what smart card details so it is your TCS identity card which will be hand over to you once you join the company. So please provide the details given here. Uh, details carefully. The uh, recent passport size photo should be 35 mm into 35 mm. After uploading, click on save and continue. Then fill the security details. Are you in, uh, in any pending or cases? Any cases if you have? No. Are you involved in any malpractice or any other? If no, then click on no. If yes, then click on. If answer to any of the yes, give full particulars of case. And click on continue. Have you appeared? Have you appeared for thesis test interview previously? If you have wrote, if you have wrote four hundred uh, twelve or any other, and give interview, then you can click on S. If you not appear for an interview in TCS, then you can click on, click on no. See, you can preview this, preview this, and you can check the details. And you cannot, after once you submit, you cannot change your name, email ID, gender, date of birth, mother's maiden name, means your initial you can't change. So be careful. Read the terms and conditions. And then click on submit application form. Click on submit application. Go to this page. Grad select your graduation year. Here is TCS location. Okay. Then your institute name. Then your reference ID. Click on save. Profile changes. Okay. So you are good to go now. If you have any doubts regarding this topic or this TCS process or any other video, then you can just draw the comment. I will reply for sure. If you like the video, like, share and subscribe to my channel. See you in next video. Till then, bye-bye.